Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are doing a highly recommended video. So we're gonna be making my first ever recipe on my YouTube channel, my first video. We're gonna be redoing this recipe. I know if you go back and look at my older videos, I have definitely come a long way. So I really just wanted to bring this recipe back to y'all and really make it my best and show my progress and how far I have come in my YouTube videos. But this recipe, delicious. Only five ingredients. You're going to want to stay tuned. It's so creamy, so good. So let's get straight to it. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get started on these delicious bell peppers. So first thing you're gonna wanna do, I have three yellow bell peppers. These are my favorite ones to use, but I recommend yellow or orange. You can kinda choose between those two. They're more of a sweeter bell pepper, so they go great with the stuffing. We're gonna go, we rinse these, we're gonna go ahead and cut them in half and clean them out. So what I'm gonna do is pre-bake these. You don't have to pre-bake them, but I personally don't like a crunchy bell pepper. So I like to pre-bake them and get them nice and softened before we stuff them. So I'm gonna clean out all the seeds and I'm gonna put it on a piece of parchment paper with my baking sheet. And then we're gonna drizzle some olive oil on them. And these are so good, guys. I highly recommend these stuffed bell peppers, minimal ingredients. So delicious these are my absolute favorite bell peppers to make this was my first ever video on YouTube and if y'all go back and watch that video it is awkward but that's how I got started on here this is how I started my keto journey with this recipe and everybody just recommended me to remake this video so this is what I'm doing and I'm excited too I eat these all the time they're so good and they are great for meal prepping you can meal prep these for the week Okay, we got all our seeds cleaned out from our bell peppers. Move this over, and I have my baking sheet right here, like I said, with a piece of parchment paper. We're just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil on here so we can bake them and get them nice and tender. So a little drizzle on each one. I'm messy with it. <laughs> All right, and I have my oven preset to 350 degrees. It's nice and hot. So let's move on to the stovetop and pop these in. I have my oven set to 350 degrees. We're gonna pop these in, and we're just gonna pre-bake these for 10 minutes, just till they're slightly tender. While this pre-bakes, let's go ahead and move on to making the stuffing. All right, I got my pan heating through. You wanna deep enough pan just so the sausage fits. So for my sausage, I go in with this hot and spicy premium sausage by H-E-B. You do not have to use hot and spicy, you could use regular, but I absolutely love it with the spiciness, just adds a little bit of a kick. So we're gonna put this whole row in, into our pan. What we're gonna do is just cook your sausage all the way through. I have like this meat smasher. I absolutely love this thing. I'll link it in the description below for y'all. But it gets all the meat like nice and fine and it breaks it apart really well. So I recommend it. But just cook it through and then we'll add in our other ingredients. All right guys, my sausage is cooked through. I broke it all apart. Guys, this recipe is so quick and easy to make. So we're just gonna add a couple more ingredients. We're gonna go in with eight ounces of cream cheese. Add it to your sausage. This is what's gonna get it nice and creamy. So break it apart, give it a few minutes just to mix well with the sausage. Just keep working the cream cheese into the sausage and eventually it's gonna melt just like this and get creamy. Now what you wanna do is add in one can of Rotel. It's just diced tomato and green chilies and I did drain the juice cause I don't want it too watery. It's still gonna give off some juice but you don't want a whole lot. We're gonna give this a good mix. And I'm just gonna season with a little bit of salt just to taste, not too much. And then we're gonna go in with some black pepper as well. Continue to cook just for like another minute because this is also going to cook in the oven when we stuff the bell peppers. So just when your cream cheese is melted and everything is well incorporated, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and pull out our bell peppers. They should be nice and tender already. 
So we literally cooked this stuffing within the 10 minutes of the bell peppers being in the oven. That's how quick and easy this recipe is. So it should look something like this. Doesn't that look so good? Nice and creamy. Okay, I pulled my bell peppers off the oven. They're nice and tender. We got our mix, and then we're also going to be topping this off with some cheese. So right here, I have a Mexican blend style cheese. This is my favorite one to use from these, but choose any cheese that you would like. So let's go ahead and get stuffing them. We're gonna take a spoonful of our mix and put it in each bell pepper, just like this. And repeat until you are done. I promise you, your kids will love these, your family will love them. I like to have these at least like once every couple weeks. I crave these all the time. That's how delicious they are. Okay, we're getting them nice and stuffed. Look at that. If y'all happen to add any other ingredients, change it up if you would like to. But I do recommend to try it like this first. And then if y'all wanna add anything else, let me know what y'all like to add to these. Comment in the description below or comment in the section below just to give people some different ideas. And if y'all ever make them, please feel free to post on my Facebook page any pictures that y'all remake, any recipes. I would absolutely love to see them. Okay. Perfect filling. So this does make three bell peppers. So it makes six of them. Two of them are a serving size. So we have the perfect amount right here. Now we're going to go in with our shredded cheese. I put a serving size on each bell pepper, which is one fourth cup. Gonna sprinkle it right on top. Ooh, and then we're gonna pop these back in the oven just until the cheese is melted because everything else is pretty much cooked through. So you can literally make these bell peppers, guys, in like 15 to 20 minutes, so quick. Let's go ahead and move on to the oven. We're popping them back into the oven at 350 degrees just until your cheese is nice and melted. It should take like less than five minutes. All right, and after a few minutes of your cheese melting, everything should look absolutely delicious just like this now i like to further top it off with just a little bit of parsley flakes this just gives it a little bit of color makes it look nice and pretty let them cool off and we're about to dig right in and here is the final part of our creamy stuffed bell peppers the recipe that started it all i'm gonna go ahead and dig right in and show y'all what the inside looks like all right, I'm digging in. I know what these taste like because I absolutely love this recipe. I eat it all the time. But if y'all haven't tried these, y'all need to. Y'all are going to fall in love. Y'all are going to be making these all the time. Oh, look at this. The bell pepper is, oh, it's hot. The bell pepper is nice and tender. We got the stuffing. We got the cheese. Here is the inside of our creamy stuffed bell pepper. Doesn't that look so good? Mmm. Guys, these always hit the spot. So good. You and your family will love them. Give them a try. They are always a must. And just a little tip, guys. You do not only have to use this stuffing. Change it up. Making your own. You can, I made some pizza stuffed bell, stuffed bell peppers. You can make some sugar-free barbecue stuffed bell peppers. The options are endless. So whatever y'all create, feel free to head on over to my Facebook page and post them there.